I don't know why my hair is sticking in 50 different directions. I've been up for a while. It's just doing that today. Okay, so I meant to do an empties at the end of December. And then it was like the first week of January, and I was like, hmm, I'll just do it at the end of January. And then it was like the middle of February. And it's like, I guess I'm doing it at the end of February. And it is now February 21st. And um, one of our friends is like, so what happened to the videos you were posting on your channel? And I'm like, well, the only thing I've been posting is empties videos. And he's like, yeah, those are cool. Why don't you post one? And I'm like, because I procrastinate. I have ADHD. And he's like, ah, you need to post one of those. I'm like, yeah, I really do. It's overflowing. You got to do it for the fans. The, the fans. The one the one fan that is our friend. Um, more than one. You got me. Do you even watch my videos? When you're making them, yeah. So you give me zero views and you count yourself as one of my fans? Well, I remember I actually put on one of your videos while I'm at work. It's just, I don't always remember because I'm really busy at work. I love you. I love you too. So, um, we're doing that. And I'm going to try to be quick. Um, these are my Ollie Sleep, my melatonin gummies. I really like these. Um... I wish they're blackberry with a hint of mint flavored. I wish they would take the mint out and just leave it be blackberry, but uh, I need to get more of these. These are really good. I don't use them all the time. I just like to keep them around for when I do use them. Uh, Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Wash. This was really nice. I actually used the whole bottle. I think this is the first Trader Joe's body wash I've used that didn't like dry out my skin, so that was nice. I would consider buying this again. I don't need to buy it again because I prefer Bath & Body Works soap formula. And I have this in the body spray and the body butter and the body scrub. I got the whole little set that they had at Christmas time. This was really nice though. And if they put this out in a full size that I could buy, I would consider buying it because it was really, really nice. And it smells so good and the smell stayed on my skin. It smells like... um. The Trader Joe's Brazil Nut smell is like a uh, Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. So this is, this is nice. And it was moisturizing. We have really hard water, so I have to be careful. A lot of soaps that aren't Bath & Body Works dry on my skin. Or I'm allergic to them, or both. And this was good. I think Alex liked it too. Did you like this Brazil Nut body wash? I don't remember. He doesn't remember. Okay. This is Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Wash in Honey Mango. Sorry, it's gross. Um, we have very hard water and stuff. This was in the shower for a while. Um, this is fine. It did make me kind of mad because I ordered this on Target. And, like, they ship it to the house. Like you do. And then I literally went into Target for something else less than a week later and saw the same exact thing on clearance. So other than that... This was nice. Um, I like the smell. It was a really faint smell. Um, it was just kind of fine for me. So we ended up using this up as bubble bath for my daughter. Worked great as that. Um, yeah, like it, it's good. It was fine. It's cruelty free. Vegetarian and a bunch of other things. Um, this was a Tati recommendation. I don't need to buy it again, but it was nice to have while we had it. Um, these are Rivers Ollie Kids Multi Plus Probiotic Multivitamins. She really likes these. They are Fruit Punch and Berry Blast flavored. She likes them. We have another bottle. She has a bottle at her godfather's and a bottle at her grandmother's. And she likes them. Apparently they taste good. And yeah, Yum Berry Punch. I've already bought more. Okay. So when it comes to medicine, I'm not a doctor. Don't listen to me. Don't do dumb stuff. If you do dumb stuff, it's not my fault. Also, we're all bronchitis prone in this house. Very bronchitis prone. River is like the least bronchitis prone, but we're all bronchitis prone. And Alex has been sick with other stuff and there's been stuff going around. So let's, um, when we get to the medicine portion of this, You'll see why I'm telling you this. Uh, these are the L 
ultra thin liners. I love these. If you're allergic to latex like me, these actually tell you the ingredients and they do not have latex. They're totally cotton. They um, do not spawn an allergic reaction. And they sell them at Walmart now. I don't have to just go to Target, so that's great. Um, and if you live in the St. Louis area, come over to the Illinois side because we don't charge tax on period products, which is yay. Um, yeah, these are great. I love them. They do a lot of good stuff too. Um, I'm not sure what certified B Corporation means, but they do the thing where it's um, for every L purchase, one period care item is made accessible to a person around the world who needs it. Um, they support local organizations. They do all sorts of really great stuff like look on their website, but I already have more of these. These are the only thing I buy anymore, the only brand, and they're great. I highly recommend. Let me throw this in my garbage. I need to empty the garbage. I have trash can and a recycle bin, so like don't judge me and stuff. Um, just I'm just gonna put those there and we'll count them up at the end. Uh Bath and Body Works Winty Winter Candy Apple. Winter candy apple uh, candle. We like the single wicks because we put them like our living room kitchen is open concept. Our whole apartment is tiny. And the living room kitchen area is really open concept. So I can put one of these on like the kitchen bar and it scents up the entire, that entire area and a lot of the rest of the house. This one, usually one of these is great, but this one had like no scent throw. So this is a smell we both like. Um, I think Alex picked out most, if not all, of our candles at the last sale. But this one had, like, hardly any scent throw. So, I will take these and I put them on, like, a warmer and, like, get all the scent out. And then I pour out the wax and I throw them in a recycle. But, um, we have, like, soap of this and some other stuff. But I don't think we buy a candle form of it again. Um, also, Fresh Balsam. This is, like, one of Alex's favorite candle or home fragrance smells he says he loves it um yeah this one was really good we would generally buy the single wicks again on sale i'm not spending 15.50 for one of these but i will spend five dollars for one of these and um this is a smell that he always likes so would buy again not in like soap just like in house smell um we also used up Vampire Blood. Blood Red Strawberry Midnight Blooming Jasmine Dark Transylvanian Plum. So, um, I like this one. I don't think it's a must-have, but it was nice. Do you have any opinions on the Vampire Blood candle? Not really, no. Yeah, it was good, but it's not a must-have scent. Um, love the packaging, though. River used up a pack of makeup wipes. These are the Sam's Club ones. If you have Sam's card instead of Costco card, these are just as good as the Costco ones. We no longer have a Sam's card, and she's the only one that uses makeup wipes anymore. I use them rarely, like one wipe in six months, not even a whole package. So, um, she's five, so that's why she uses these right now, because she has the same water on face issues that I do, and this is how she's learning to take off her makeup and wash her face. I know it's not ideal, but it's better than nothing. Shut up. If you weren't being mean, I wasn't talking to you. Um, but yeah, I keep makeup wipes on. So I'll probably buy the Costco ones next time, but these are just as good. Do recommend if you like makeup wipes. Um, I finally killed off the Arctic Fox Violet Dream hair color. Um, River, I've used some of this on River's hair. I like this type of hair dye. It's really good. It's the kind that's like, um, conditioner -y, So it doesn't hurt your hair. And it smells like grape candy. So I don't like that smell, but if you do, my dog does. My cats do. Um, but this is a little bit too pink. Like, the color my hair is right now desperately faded and I need to touch it up um that's like brighter version it's kind of pinkish um I did kind of do an ombre with my usual and the violet dream 
into my usual because I didn't have enough to do my whole head of hair with both of these, with one of these. But, um, yeah, the Violet Dream is, the, the type of hair color is great. Violet Dream is too pink for my liking. Um, so I wouldn't get Violet Dream again. But Purple AF is my favorite. I love it. Um, it's the color I preferred my hair to be. And, like, all of this writing is usually white, but I get purple all over. Uh, you can get this at Sally's or at Ulta. I need to get more. I'm totally out. And I desperately need to do my hair, but we've been broke. Um, but, yeah, I love this. Would, des would absolutely repurchase. And I need to take River up to Sally's to pick out what color she wants. Now that the Violet Dream is done. Febreze Air Spray. This is the Gain Scent. I like the Febreze ones. I like this scent fine. It's kind of like a whatever I end up grabbing. Do you have any opinions on this Febreze Island Fresh Gain Scents air spray? Uh, which one, where were we using that? Bathroom. It's pretty good. Alex says it's pretty good. Uh, the uh, formula is really effective. He says the formula is very effective, which it is. Um, well, we were really sick. Um... I do have one that was passed on to me that I don't really like right now. And I have more of these Febreze ones as a backup, so they're good. Um, make sure you can't see this hoard that I'm piling up here of medication. Not all of it is like sick meds. Some of it's just like regular ones. But I'm going to wait and do all those at the end. Uh, let's see here. Okay, Physician's Formula Butter Hand Cream. This is like their moo moo woo, however you say it, butter scent. I use this as a body butter. This is really nice. This came in a, um, like a set, so you can't buy it individually. I don't think the set's around anymore. I wouldn't buy this if you could buy it individually because it's tiny. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to it as a body butter, but I have the perfume version of this, which was also not sold individually. That's fine. That's all I need. Um, this was really nice. I wish you could buy the perfume individually. That's my last bit on that. This is uh, Bath and Body Works Shower Gel Japanese Cherry Blossom. Alex, do you, what was your opinions? This was Alex's on Japanese Cherry Blossom. Kind of burnt out on it, but it's a pretty good smell. He says he's kind of burnt out on it, but it's a pretty good smell. I don't know if you can hear him or not. Um, this is one of his favorite scents, but he has a full size, I think. I finished it off. He used about half of it. Realized he was burnt out on I finished off this bubble bath for the kiddo. She loved it. It worked really well. I like using reject soaps because it uses them up. And also it gets her like actually clean because it's soap. So, yeah. Um, oh. Your favorite moisturizer is the Tatcha, right? Yes. This is Alex's moisturizer, the Ula Henriksen. Transform Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. Um, I'm a spoiled brat. Yeah. He did really like this one. The Ula Hendrickson, the blue tub. That was your second or third choice. Uh, I think that was my second. This was his favorite, and then he has since discovered Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is his favorite now, so he said this is what he would prefer to purchase, but if this went away, he would buy this. Um, this would be like his second choice. So, it is good stuff. I've got expensive taste. Yes, you do have expensive taste. Um, Trader Joe's Apple Cider Scent Foaming Hand Soap. This was nice. I liked it. I like their foaming hand soaps. They're a little bit more squeaky clean than Bath and Body Works, but I like them. It smelled good. Do you have an opinion on this soap? Uh, which one? Hand Soap Apple Cider. Yeah, it smells pretty good. He says it smells good. So yeah, this is good. I would get it again. But um, one of the things I've noticed about the Trader Joe's ones that the Bath and Body Works ones don't do is that if they sit in your back stash for like a year, even when they foam, they get more liquidy. So I would prioritize using them. So yeah, this was good. Would buy again. It's seasonal. Native deodorant, buttercream, and French vanilla. I do like native deodorant. This was a nice smell. Um, it smelled like I was using icing, frosting. 
as deodorant, which was weird. Um, not unpleasant, weird, just weird. Um, would buy Native again. Probably just prioritize buying their um, pumpkin latte, pumpkin spice latte, whatever it's called, one. But would buy again. This scent was fine. It's just not so amazing that I need to buy it again. Um, River finished a kid's crest. We have a zillion of these because they were giving her kid toothpaste when she was in toddler toothpaste every time she went to the dentist. She hates it. I don't know why. I think it's fine. I told her I'd help her use them up after I finish my fins of time too. But um, she hates this. Says it tastes horrible. I always liked it is what I used when I was a kid. We have a bunch more of these. Probably wouldn't buy it because she hates it. But we have a bunch. What is your malfunction? Yeah. Oi, Layla. Sorry, my dog is growling at my, one of my cats. Um. Got Alex this um, peanut sweat and while making faces bright. Layla. Face wash set because it's Snoopy. Um, I think he's kind of indifferent to the soap, but he likes the little scrubby. And this was limited edition, you can't buy it anymore again. But yeah, that's a thing. <sighs> Children. This is Shea Moisture African Black Soap Bar Soap. He loves this. It keeps his body acne down. There's a whole video on my channel of him talking about it. I apparently need to buy him another bar, but he already has one in the shower. So this stuff is great. Um, I should put this on my lap, but like I don't want it on my lap because it's grubby and gross. Winterberry Wonder 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream for Bath and Body Works. This is fine. It was a fine scent. The lotion type is fine. I prefer body butter, but this is fine. Mom got this for Christmas and she doesn't really use it, so she passed it on to me. Um, it says Red Winterberry Ruby Apple Sparkling Cranberry Snow Crisp Vanilla Crystal Vanilla. It's not a scent I need to buy. It's not one I'm opposed to. Um, it's not a formula I usually buy. I do have one more of these that I got as a gift. Different smell. It's fine. Glad it's gone. Okay, let's see here. Ugh, there's like makeup and stuff. Okay. Kirkland. This is gross. It's been in shower for years. Because this is Alex's and he doesn't have more. Like, he has like a guy length hair. Kirkland Professional Salon Formula Moisture Shampoo. He got this at Costco, not this bottle, when he lived in Seattle and really liked it. So when we got a Costco um, membership, I got him a bottle. And my hair liked it, but my hair can't do these big bottles because it gets overwhelmed. It can only do like one bottle and then I have to change to a different brand. Um... So yeah, Alex used most of this. We used a little bit of it on River. It's a nice shampoo. Do I need to buy more of this Costco shampoo? Sure. Apparently I need to buy more. Um, I think they've changed the packaging because it took so long for him to go through this. But apparently I need to buy more of it. So I'm going to... good stuff, I mean. He says it's good stuff. Okay, I have a lot of like serum and moisturizer, little sample, dude out of my hickeys, then we're gonna sort through, oh, um, Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum, this was nice, I liked it, I don't need to buy it, I'm using Trader Joe's Retinol Night Serum right now, different than this, but it seems to have a similar effect, and that's a lot cheaper, um, after I use that, I don't know if I'm gonna buy a serum, but if I do, it'll be the Trader Joe's one. But this was nice. If you're interested, try it. Um, you two people polypeptide 121 Future Cream Pro Grade Vegan Moisturizer. This was fine. It was a little bit tacky, which I didn't love, but it was a nice moisturizer. Didn't need to buy it. Um, I prefer face oils at nighttime. I'm just using up some like stuff that I had around. So, yeah. Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. This managed to be both tacky and greasy, um, but it was fine as far as moisturizing, wouldn't buy. 
Laneige Radiancy Cream. Um, was fine. It's not a face oil. Uh, Goop Beauty Goop Glow Glow Lotion. Was greasy, would not buy, and it's not a face oil. Natasha Denona, uh, I, I, Y, Gem Skin Glass Primer Serum. I used to use this as a serum. It's 2.30, babe. I know. You almost done? Yes. I had another packet, and I just passed that on. Because, like, this was fine, but it wasn't anything amazing. So, I don't need to buy it. Dr. Dart Ceramine Cream Moisture Retention Seal. It was fine. I don't need to buy it. Um, Maybelline Snapscara. I like this. This is what the wand looks like. But it wasn't so amazing that I need to buy it again. But it was nice to use. I need not claw things, Phobos. Um, two Oral-B Glide Pro Health Floss. Freebies from the dentist. Um, River has been in a floss kick. I know you're supposed to floss your teeth, but we're not huge floss people. We all have ADHD. You can't figure out where this is going. Um, but yeah, River's been in a floss kick, so we went through both of these. They're fine. I'd probably just, if I needed to buy a floss, just buy whatever. We're still going through ones we have from the dentist, though, so. Um, this Sugar Pill Liquid Lip Color in Zero. I like this, but every Sugar Pill liquid lipstick I've had, they um, they dry up really fast. Like, maybe not normal people fast, but like, if you have a big collection, they dry up fast. So this is a nice liquid lipstick. This is a nice black liquid lipstick, but it's not... I wouldn't buy this again, and I probably wouldn't buy Sugar Pill liquid lips again because of how fast they dry up. So it was nice while I had it, but I only got to use it a few times because big collection. Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon in Blacker. Um, this was nice. It's a little bit too fine for me. I like a little bit chunky of an eyeliner. So I probably wouldn't buy this formula or this like size again. The formula is nice. But um, Marc Jacobs Beauty is not a thing anymore. So not an option. Um... AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. I remember really liking this, but when I went to use it some more, it like, it has one of these dropper things. I always have bad luck with these. It like, it wouldn't pick up, it, oh, now it's squirting everywhere. It wouldn't pick up any foundation. I couldn't get anything out. So I guess it like dried up or something. And I know it's not expensive, but if it's going to do that, I'm probably not going to buy it again. Um... Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. This was a face mask. I liked it. I don't need to buy it again. Hydrating masks aren't something that I typically keep around, but it was nice to use while I had it. Ow. Ofra Peptide Cleanser. This was fine. It got to be a reject cleanser, which means Alex, it, it wasn't so amazing that either of us wanted to rebuy it. So I used it up on brushes and then as a morning um, face wash. It was fine. Um, just kind of me. Don't need to buy it again. This uh, charcoal Earth Therapeutics charcoal mesh exfoliator. Uh, this is a scrubby sponge that I got for Alex from Ulta. He said this is one of the best ones he's had. It's in the shower, and I've already gotten him a replacement for when he finishes that one. So, this is good. Uh, YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. I love this. This is one of my favorite primers. I got to the point where you couldn't scrape any more out. I got some of those like, little spatula things. Got a full size on sale. And shoved the rest of what I couldn't get out of here into there. And then I have one. So, I have the full size, and I have one more of these little ones. Love this stuff. This is a great primer. Um, it's just kind of pricey. This, I killed the lip balm, y'all. Uh, Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm, Black Tea and Blackberry. Uh, this is really, really good stuff. It, like, helps fix my lips. Even though it has avocado oil in, which is cross-reactive to latex, so be careful. But I am on meds, so I decided to give it a go. Um, 
it actually like helped fix my lips and stuff so i really like this um i have one other flavor but i would buy this again so i do have another one and another flavor but would buy again this stuff's great sorry if i'm being repetitive um full de janeiro brazilian boom boom cream love this stuff most people love this stuff it's a good lotion it's a great scent um I wouldn't buy it it's way too expensive especially when seasonally I can get the Trader Joe's kind and I have the body spray which does me fine I get the scent and I don't have to spend the money on this that was like 20 bucks you know last ages because I rotate perfumes but anytime there's an opportunity to get one of these for free I will do it um because it's a really nice lotion too Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. This is a really good conditioner, one of the ones my hair actually likes. Um, yeah, I do like a deep condition mask once a week, theoretically, when I actually do it up from like here down on my hair. My hair likes this. I need to buy it again, and the packaging is cute. And what I didn't realize is like it's cute, happy packaging, right? But the way it sits in my shower, I love this. It's got like a little skull on the side. It's kind of awesome. So yeah, I need to buy more of this. Um this is commodity book uh the the regular one the white one um i like this fine but it's not really for me it's not really my thing so i'm glad i tried out like the little sample set instead of getting the whole travel size thing because i wouldn't have been able to go through all of it with this um so yeah this is fine i used it but i don't need it DSMD Shop Mint Chocolate Swirl Sponge. I'm using this right now. I love this. I need to buy another one of these because these are great sponges. I really, really love this. <sighs> that was a Samantha March recommendation. Okay, now we're going to go through all of the medications pile. So, um, we use bottle of ibuprofen. I get the ones from Costco because we go through a lot of ibuprofen in this house. Um, have more. They work great. I went through a bottle of my relief. This was suggested by my neurologist to help prevent my migraines. Um, this is Phobos. This is his emotional support donut. Um, yeah, this stuff helps. I get it on Amazon. Talk to your doctor about stuff, blah, blah, blah. Don't do dumb things, etc. cetera. Um, have another bottle, been taking it every day. Which one are you got there? This much longer. I'm almost done. This is a uh, quercetin. I get this on Amazon. I have MCAS, mast cell activation syndrome, or disorder, depending on what you want to call it. I take famotidine as per my allergist. Um, I haven't been able to go to my allergist for a minute. Famotidine still works, but mm, my body's kind of getting used to it, so I did some research. The NHS, which is the National Health Service in Britain, so a reputable resource, sometimes also suggests quercetin. So, Ordered on Amazon, tried it, helps ton with mine. Talk to your doctor, don't do dumb things, don't listen to me. But this helps me, so I take this in addition to my Fomotidine. Works great, um, I already have another bottle that I'm almost done with, actually, because one of these bottles is about two months, because I take two a day. Um, I get this on Amazon, helps me a lot. Okay, now for the, we were sick and we're bronchitis prone. We take Delsum to head off bronchitis and make it go away because it's easier and cheaper than going to urgent care multiple times per person every winter for bronchitis. Um, so we finished a Walmart brand bottle. Then everywhere, I guess everybody is sick, has been out of stock of this stuff. So we got two smaller bottles of the brand name because that's all I could find at Walgreens. Um, we finish up and I have since we haven't cracked into them yet but I've since uh, bought two of the Target brand um, so yeah we've been sick and we've been sick with other stuff because we finished up the two diamond hats we call this purple stuff we call it orange stuff we call this purple stuff this is what all of us take when we're sniffly or congested or any of that um, so yeah, we finished up the two I had. Um, I get the big pack at Costco. And we use the different varieties interchangeably. But when you have, this is made for kids, but adults can take it. And when you have 
taking adult doses, you go through these little bottles pretty quick. Um, so we finished the two I had. I bought a three pack at Costco. We finished two of those and they changed the packaging. And I've got the last one in my drawer ready to open. I need to buy more of that. So it's on the list. And that is everything for my empties. I can't believe we got through this in 30 minutes. That's wonderful. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I have to let you go because Alex needs his phone so he can go pick up River from school and then go to work. Um, I will see you guys next time. Questions, comments, opinions down below. Bye.